Okay. And, and OG person being when you see somebody that from the California area, do you how do you look at them as far as the representation of now, what you guys represent in Texas? Let me see, let me see. <laughs> they all right with me. <laughs> I, I'm saying that to say I've never looked at a crib from California. Okay. Yeah, that part. So you never met? Nah. Never really? met, never seen one, never shook hands. But today you got to say, yeah, hey, that's what it's all about. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Hey man, I, what I wanted to do, man, just have some questions. You know, being that you you know you out of the California area, OG Percy is in here, man. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, hey, okay. Hey, man, he, okay. hey, man, this man out of the Fort Worth area. No. Uh, Texas, that is. The great state of Texas. Cali coming in the building. So, mm -hmm. and uh, I just wanted to try to, you know, just have a, have a discussion, man. I always wanted to know how those worlds, you know, pretty much. Uh, I, I know Percy. Uh, Percy is known, man, on that internet. And mm -hmm. Melvin, you known on that internet. And, and and have you guys ever met? No, sir. Never met before? No, sir. First wow. Time. First time. Right. Man, it's you know what? So good feeling. Have, but you, I know y'all heard each other. Yeah, yes, we sir. conversated over the phone prior to when uh, Charleston was in uh, what, uh, California back in the day. Uh, Jody and all them. I had sent Baba Lou down here mm -hmm. when he had first came back. So I think we had chatted before, but I know uh, uh, I've always heard his name. His but name, yeah. yeah, it's always brought up. Dope, man. So you know, cause like like I say, uh, and I and I asked this question with a gr a different group of people, but California, I had California, Texas in here, and I always be asked thinking in my mind like to be and, and Melvin, you know, from from long time ago, the the with with being the crib from being in California, and then someone being. Uh, affiliated with Crip in Texas, how does, I mean, does that even, does that merit the respect or do they even, do they, cause my cousin's from LA and when they would come down, it wasn't really a thing to where they was like, they come down, I take them to Shreveport. They act like, hey man, you know, they solidified and what we doing wasn't or whatever. So how do you look at that? Well, uh, before we had expanded when it was just uh, East Side and West Side Compton before they had even left let alone uh, the city from the zip codes. Uh, it went through expansion, particularly when the drug came out. The drug game, game came out about 77 and they started floating. But I've always looked at it like this. Uh, uh, we don't die, we multiply. Wow. So when we started, that's when that sand started. And as you see today, uh, uh, the guys from my area, uh, the original one, our attitude where it's, uh, you sign up for this, there wasn't a lot of ways you can get into it now. Mm -hmm. So I've always respected Crips or Bloods or somebody that's from this culture. And a lot of guys will tell you when they ask me something, I say, let them pick their bones. And mm -hmm. so it's all a level playing field for me. I don't look at it as uh, one's a leader or nothing. When I come, I check in with these men, uh, just as you would a home. Uh, when you have a right to expectation, you don't come and knock at somebody's house unexpectedly. So as far as me personally, I give everybody the same respect because I'm a seed. They are, are the roots of it. And so I look at them all as one big total family. You got to remember, I came in when we were united. Most of them come in where they come in divided, crip on crip, blood on blood. That's a different language to me. Okay, and, and OG person being when you see somebody that from the California area, do you how do you look at them as far as the representation of what you guys represent in Texas? Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> they all right with me. <laughs> I, I'm saying that to say I've never looked at a crib from California. Okay. Yeah, that part. So you never met? Nah, never really? met. Never seen one. Never shook hands. But today. You got to say, yeah. Hey, that's with what it's all one. about. The with a real one. Yeah, with a yeah. real like one. Man, on top like of that, man. Like huh? Okay, 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 <laughs> so, okay, okay. So, so, okay. When, so tell me, like, you, I remember I had asked you on the show before, like, uh, how did you end up uh, ending up dealing with just the crib side? And you said it was because everybody around you was uh, yeah. blood and you side. just yes. you didn't you didn't want to you didn't want to deal yeah. you, you wanted to be different yeah always always 
what what made that what made that stick out in you to be different in a time where everybody else would have pretty much folded and because of the guys you know you grow up with these cats and okay. um, then all of a sudden you see him with a, a blue rag on him well you already know he ain't built like that 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 he ain't, I, they ain't built like that I don't want to be them and that's how you did I feel like I was tougher than them anyway and uh, I felt like if you were gonna gang bang. It ain't no fun to be in the hood with the same gang. Oh, so you, I want to live dangerous. You, I was on it for real. So you want to become the opponent? Yes, sir. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.